What's going on all you gamers? Today we're back with some more Remnant 2 goodness. I'm going to be showing you how you can find this lady right here in order to get a bark skin tray. That's coming up next. So today we're back with some more Remnant 2 content and what we're going to be doing is fast travelling to Yeisha and then we're going to need to go to this checkpoint right here, the Far Woods. I found after venturing around for a little while, tackling some enemies and just kind of uncovering all of the map, I managed to find this instance and I believe you can always get here from the Far Woods. The closest checkpoint to the NPC we are after was this one right here, the Dappled Glade. And that's going to unlock this lady right here who's going to ask you a lot of questions and how you decide to answer them is going gonna, is gonna to affect what reward you actually get. Now I can't tell you the exact solution to this because she does ask varied questions, however what you do want to do is answer in alignment to either the Doe or the Ravenger. So if you're answering all very morally correct and righteous it will be classed as the Doe, which you'll be wanting to do if you want to unlock the Bark Skin. If you wanted to unlock the other trait then you'd want to be given very immoral or kind of selfish choices. Most of the time it's quite evident but there are a few ones that are a little bit greyish. So what the game tends to do, as long as you get 3 out of 5 in the alignment that you're after, you're going to get the reward you're after. This will take a little while and I would definitely say listen to them and have a bit of concentration because skipping them could mean you get the answer wrong. But as long as you're paying attention and you answer most of them in the right way, then you'll be able to finally unlock this, the Bark Skin trait. This is actually a very good trait to have on pretty much any build. Damage mitigation is amazing in this game and even though it's only 10%, anytime you can manage to mitigate a bit of damage in this, especially as you're going up the levels in difficulty, is going to be a real lifesaver. So overall, this is definitely something you want to get, make sure you unlock it and most times you'll probably want to chuck a few trade points into it. But yeah, there'll be a lot more Remnant 2 content from me, let me know in the comments if there's anything you're really enjoying using for a weapon, but as always there'll be a lot more Remnant 2 content from me, but for now, take care. I'll see you on the next day.